the Tampa Bay Rays home opener didn't go as planned as they fell to the Yankees by a score of 8-5. Tyler Glass now got the start and was sharp despite giving up one run. Glass now debuted the new pause in his delivery as he focuses on becoming more consistent towards the plate. He would throw 1.2 innings prior to giving way to Yanni Chirinos who struggled mightily. Chirinos would give up three consecutive hits which resulted in two runs coming across the plate. He returned to record two outs in the third before departing in favor of Matt Crook. Crook would get the job done and take the race to the bottom half of the third. Ryan Stanek got the call to start the fourth inning where he would surrender a thunderous three-run bomb to Luke Voigt which extended the Yankees' lead to 6-0. Obi Milner was the next pitcher to take the mound and would work a quiet fifth. The bats finally arrived in a powerful way as Willie, the kid, Adames, Mike Zunino, and Austin Meadows all hit bombs in the bottom half of the fifth, helping the Rays get on the board. Jason Coates would tack on two more runs with a home run of his own the next inning. That would be it on offense for the Rays. Rays prospect Curtis Taylor would take the mound and give two runs right back surrendering a two-run bomb which would eventually be answered by Coates' bomb. Next, rankings, roster, and camp Ian Gardeck, Dalton Motes, and Ricardo Pinto would pitch the final three innings for the Rays holding the Yankees scoreless. Pinto's, a recent minor league signing, looked the best out of the group, featuring sharp sinking action on his fastball. At the plate, top prospects Jesus Sanchez and Joe McCarthy both hit the ball hard as well. Want your voice heard? Join the race colored glasses team. Right for us. In the end, a few too many fastballs were left over the plate to Yankees hitters who seemed to be hunting heaters all day. As a result, the Rays fall to 0-3 this spring and will look for their first win tomorrow against the Marlins at 1.05 Eastern Standard Time. The game will take place in Port Charlotte.